It is that time of year. Political ads have started filling up, filling up commercial spots ahead of the primary June 28th. Well, Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez has been analyzing those ads. And she found a Democratic tactic may actually wind up helping Republicans. How conservative is Ron Hanks? On its face. Hanks was rated one of the most conservative members in the state house. It looks like an attack ad. He says Joe Biden's election was a fraud. One trying to convince voters that State Representative Ron Hanks is not the candidate for Colorado. Ron Hanks, too conservative for Colorado. This ad and another targeting gubernatorial candidate Greg Lopez use the same language. Greg Lopez is too conservative for Colorado. Both are paid for by Democratic groups in the midst of a primary election, so we took them to marketing professor Darren Duber-Smith. A lot of the political ads are geared toward the consumer forming a negative perception. He says political or not, the principles of advertising are the same. Branding and repetition, repetition and branding. Eventually the, the target market learns that this candidate is whatever that word is. And in this case, it's the word conservative. But as with everything in politics, there's more to these ads than meets the airwaves. I think this is a more targeted message where, again, you're trying to, to paint somebody as conservative, which to the one side is a bad thing, to the other side that's a good thing. Because the ad is attacking Senate candidate Joe O'Day's opponent, you would think his campaign would like it. This is just too far, it's dishonest, uh, and it's inauthentic. But strategist Josh Penry wants to make it clear that O'Day's campaign had nothing to do with them. In fact, they believe these ads were an attempt by Democratic groups to do the opposite of what they say and support Hanks. What this campaign that, the, that Schumer and his super PACs are providing for Ron is two things massive name ID and uh, you know a, basically a sales job that he's that he's a conservative targeted to conservative audiences. They say Democrats are trying to back a candidate they believe they can beat in the general election. So looking back at that Hanks ad there are conservative buzzwords like ban abortions and increase access to guns. On the Lopez ad the words oppose gay marriage and unapologetically pro-life appear. Things that may actually attract conservative voters. The misdirection in the Democratic ads is they are intended to be positive ads for Ron Hanks. Democratic Colorado is spending $780,000 on the Ron Hanks ads, while the Colorado Information Network is spending another $688,000 on the ads about Greg Lopez. The Colorado GOP called this deceptive dark money interference in elections. But Democratic groups deny these allegations, saying the ads are what they purport to be, a warning that these candidates are too conservative. Back with Darren Duber-Smith. It's risky. It's risky to do this type of advertising, and it's, I don't think it's particularly effective. He says positive ads always work better than negative ones, and even as someone who teaches advertising... I really sort of tune out these ads, i got to be honest with you, because I, I don't tend to like them. That could be difficult, though, the further along in the election we get and the more political ads that hit the airwaves. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. And we should note that national Republican groups have been accused of using the same advertising tactic in Colorado in the past, most recently in the primary race between John Hickenlooper and Andrew Romanoff.